We spoke to the cast and creators of the critically acclaimed Warrior that's finally, finally returning to HBO for its long-awaited third season. Here now is my conversation with Andrew Koji and Jason Tobin. This is such a pleasure. I am such a big fan of the show. And let me tell you, uh, when the folks at HBO messaged and went, hey, do you want to take part in the Warrior Junket? And I'm like, wait, season three is finally back? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so excited. Yeah. Um, what was it like for you guys? Because obviously there was that limbo, and I was incredibly frustrated at the end of season two. And I was like, "What if this never comes back?" Yeah, we moved on, both of us. That's right. Yeah, yeah. hence the tattoos. And, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, we just moved on, both emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So, yeah, no, it was it was tough. I mean, to be honest, like um, you know, it was a great show. Uh, we gave it our all. Everyone worked really hard and we really left everything on the field. And so when it was in this limbo or cancellation, you know, I think me personally, I took it, I took it personally. I was very upset because I was like, right. Wait, you know, we worked so hard for this. It's, it's, and um, life isn't fair, obviously, but it's when you do everything right and then you still don't get to the next, you know what I mean? Get another season. It was very disappointing, but um Behind the scenes, people were still working to get to getting uh, uh, yeah. another season, and um, and so when we finally did get another season, it was uh, I think I don't know about you, but we, we went in, we went in with this attitude like, hey, we've been cancelled once, so you know what? When we go into season three, we're just gonna have a hell of a time. Where uh, what are they gonna do? Fire us again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I think as well. I think we we I think because of that, it affected the it did yeah affected the energy mm. of us going into it. So hopefully a lot of that right. is on season three. It, yeah. During season three, there's a lot of that. Um, the things that we've gone through in the past couple of years, and the the the, the you know a lot of us uh, went off and did our separate things and direction. And but I mean we stayed in touch. Um, mm -hmm. But obviously life can uh, uh, pick up. But so the things that happened with COVID, etc. So a lot of that kind of went into season three. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And when you got the call, mm, yes. I mean, the both of you said you know you had moved on and you had made your peace. When you got that call, was it a no-brainer? Was it just yep, I'm back in? Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I was actually um, I was on a I was working on another movie and um, it was literally the very last day of shooting, nice. and um, you know my phone rang and it was uh, Jonathan Chopper and I saw his name pop up on my phone and as soon as I saw it, I, thought, <gasps> I knew what that <laughs> meant. because you know J JT and I we have a great uh, relationship but we don't just call and chit chat willy nilly you know what I mean like if he calls it's for something. And so as soon as I saw his name, I thought, oh, my goodness, this is going to happen. And then the first he asked, is he asked um, oh, so um, if we get this going, do you want to come back? I'm like, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, tell me this, uh, Andrew, one of the things I love most about your show, and there are many, but there's a lot of standing around and looking cool. And it's not something that's easy to pull off, but you guys do it very well. And I was just wondering what headspace you need to be in, because every time that camera pans to either one of you and you're doing that pose thing, I'm doing it. <laughs> no, I mean, no, but I, I, I think there's knowing the genre that you're playing in and, you know, with an action, uh, kind of stylized action mm -hmm. show. There's like, we, we know, and I think as, as, as an actor, uh, learning over time and kind of knowing when to lean into that and knowing when to play truthfully to the intention of the scene and the character and all that stuff but a lot of it is i don't think i i, I don't think we kind of go around thinking we're fucking cool you know very cool yeah <laughs> yeah I, I i really don't like the suit the suit for me i've never liked wearing it i really don't like wearing a suit <laughs> it, it's hilarious because I love the suit yeah. and I'm very particular about my suit. Whereas he's like, oh, I want a bit baggy and looser. I want my yeah. shirt out. Yeah. And it's great because it's like the, the, the juxtaposition of these two characters. It's, 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 uh, it's very funny because I was going to answer that question for you because like, I, can, I can tell you're just like, oh, I'm going to get out of this. You yeah. Know? <laughs> but then also, Assam, because Assam, he, 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 he doesn't have, he, he, he didn't grow up in a suit. Young mm -hmm. June grew right. up in a suit. Mm -hmm. So Assam didn't go out. So I've always felt like he, he should never belong in, he doesn't belong mm -hmm. in that suit. Um, 
So yeah, you, you know, there's uh, kind of it kind of works, I guess, for it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. To be fair, you do spend quite a bit of time getting beaten out of that suit. So <laughs> yeah. oh. metaphorical, Uma. It's metaphorical. <laughs> yeah, correct. Um, I, just taking. Just taking things a little broader, I mean, Warrior, I feel, and correct me if I'm wrong, all the way out in Malaysia, I still feel it's something of a rarity in American TV, right? This premium drama with Asian leads, critical acclaim. And I was wondering if that's had a real impact on you as actors. Like, has it opened more doors or is there still a long road ahead? There's still a long road. There's still a long road. Yeah, there's still a long road. Sure, there's still a lot of internal institutionalized racism and all stuff going on. I'm going to be quite frank. Maybe I shouldn't, but <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll, my hey, we see it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, you see, it, everyone feels it. I'm just saying that as it is. Um, it's shown what we can do as actors and what we should be doing, to be honest. And I think the movement of diversity is changing things and helping things. But it's still still rare for me to get a script where a character's layered. It's not about him being Asian. Uh, I think for me, like, um, strangely enough, I would say it hasn't opened up a lot of doors, you know? So um, I think it just, I think before when it was on Cinemax, it just didn't have the viewership and then didn't have the um, that critical mass yet. So I, I don't know. I mean, it, I, I'm, I'm very bullish. I feel like season three is going to, you know, um, blow people away. And I think, you know, I think, you know, when you look at the success of other shows, it takes a few seasons and I'm feeling good about it. But, um, however, within the Asian American community, it's yeah. a very important show. Yeah. Everyone knows it within that community. Yeah. And, well, uh, well, let, me, let me tell you something over here in Malaysia as well. People know it. People are uh, aware cool. of the show because, you know, we grew up, watching these kinds of martial arts show we were raised on bruce lee movies Mm. and the jackie chan stuff and the stephen chow stuff so there is a natural affinity to that kind of those kinds of movies and tv shows so we're aware of it but let me tell you this season three i got my colleague who hasn't seen season one or two to watch season three and i said listen you don't have to watch one and two you can start watching season three and i think you can get right into it and he was like oh shit i did and so I don't think that's a disadvantage. I think people can jump right in and yeah, sure. There's some backstory, which you might have to Wikipedia, but for the most part, <laughs> I think you guys nailed it. Awesome. Oh, thank did awesome. You, yeah. yeah. Did you, have you seen season three? Have you seen it? Have you, have, yeah. You... So I've seen the first six episodes. Very cool. Oh, for six. Very cool. Have you have, have, it looks like those things have become increasingly complicated. And I was wondering what it's like for you guys has the training become exponentially complex as well um no no i think it's got simpler uh because this is oh, the third, yeah, third season of it now uh with there's a shorthand to, mm. to all of how we talk the um there's more mutual kind of trust where with spread the coordinator community uh, it knows the acting beats are most important because it's the story the story mm. beneath the fights is the most important yeah. thing um and that's and that can fuel the movement, the, the 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 way they express themselves. And I think we've managed, hopefully, developed a shorthand for season three now, which is uh, yeah, doing that. Yeah, like dialogue on a script, we the actors take that those lines and then we make it our our own. You know, for example, like um, our stunt doubles who do it, they they have a come from a wushu or different kinds of martial art background, and they may move a certain way. So even if it's the same punches, same kicks, we add our own flavor. We bring in those emotional moments and those fight scenes are worth nothing unless the drama and the acting uh, make it so. And um, I think season three, we just, we, we really fine, fine tuned that. Yeah. I, I'm all out of time, gentlemen, but it's been an absolute pleasure and congratulations to the show. I, for one, am super excited that it's back on the air. So. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you, spread the word, spread, spread the, word. the word. If you spread, I will the, spread the good word, let's make a season four. Keep putting yeah. people. People ask me like, oh, what's it about? Explain it to me. And and I mean this in the best possible way. I just go, it's Deadwood, but with Chinese people. <laughs> and action, and action. That's amazing. And awesome. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and fighting. Yeah. Cool. One last Thanks, tip. Guys. One last oh. piece of information. We all watch Deadwood before every season to get in, to get into it. Yeah. No way. Fantastic. <laughs> it didn't have to be like this.
Don't forget to check out season three of Warrior when it premieres on HBO Go Thursday, June 29th. Have you been a fan of the show since season one? Sound off in the comments below and let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.